Tell us exactly what Russia is saying they've done and why they've done it. Well, Russia is saying that um, it's detected uh, HMS Defender on passage in the northern part of the Black Sea near Sevastopol. It says that it uh, tried to warn HMS Defender away. It, it then said it fired in the general direction from some patrol boats and also dropped some bombs ahead of it. And um, that's what Russia says. Now, what is the Ministry of Defence here saying? Well, the Ministry of Defence, and, and I think all the evidence shows that HMS Defender was actually in a traffic separation scheme, which means she was totally legal from the point of view of international law about where she should be. Um, she was being trailed by some small Russian border patrol craft. I think at one stage, HMS Defender got a bit bored with it, so it came up in speed. The patrol boats couldn't actually keep up. <laughs> so uh, in indignation or frustration sort of fired their guns somewhere, uh, nowhere near uh, the ship. I think also Defender was sort of buzzed by a couple of uh, aircraft as well. And if you add to that that the uh, Russians were conducting some form of live fire exercise some miles away, what the Russians have done is linked all the incidents and claimed that they've seen Defender off the premises, which is something they're always seeking to do. Uh, close to Crimea and also close to their own territorial seas. Uh, but I should stress that Defender or any other ship in the world has the right of innocent passage uh, anywhere it wants to go um, and doesn't need to be seen off by the Russians. For the layman amongst us, tell us a little bit about Defender. What are its capabilities? Well, um, HMS Defender is a Type 45 uh, destroyer. Uh, her primary role is anti-air defence, but she uh, can do pretty well against other warships as well. Uh, she's got an anti-submarine capability. She's got a helicopter that can do all these things as well. I mean, most importantly, Defender has probably one of the world's best anti-aircraft systems. It can detect golf balls uh, at a range of about 20 miles and can engage multiple targets. So this is not a ship that you really want to take on if you're Russian. Absolutely. So what is there to be gained by Moscow in doing this or even saying they've done it? Well, the Russians, uh, for their own internal audience, obviously want to say they've seen off a Royal Navy destroyer from uh, somewhere near uh, their own main fleet base at Sevastopol. They're also very sensitive, of course, about uh, Crimea, which is Ukrainian territory. They've taken it over, uh, but they try and sort of uh, patrol the boundaries as if it's uh, part of Russia. Uh, and so it's all part of keeping us away from uh, these disputed uh, seas, but also away from their main fleet base at Sevastopol. Uh, and generally, they don't like us in the Black Sea at all. Uh, so it's in their interest to say that, you know, they're in charge there. And if there are any intrusions by foreign warships, then we'll make life difficult for them uh, and we'll make it look as if we've seen them off the premises. So how does this escalate from here? Is this a case of attaches getting called in from embassies for a bit of a rap on the knuckles or, or could this develop into something a little more serious? No, I think it's probably de-escalated now. I think the, the Russians have, have been shown to be doing what they always do, and that is promoting disinformation and generally confusing the situation. What's more important is it would have been a bit of a bellwether for what happens when the carrier strike group goes out to the south and east China Sea. Um, because had this not been handled properly, uh, then I think the Chinese would have taken note of it and probably stepped up the pressure on some of our units, which will include Defender, of course, uh, when uh, they go out to uh, the Asia-Pacific region. But the message, as always, is don't mess with the Royal Navy because you will come off worse. Yeah, I think uh, in projecting global Britain uh, and indeed global maritime Britain, um, I think the message has to be uh, to these authoritarian states is you can't get away with things anymore. Um, the Royal Navy is there to promote and protect British interests and those of our allies.